Today we're going to be going over tethered capture with the Nikon D850 in a studio setting. So I'm going to show you the steps to set up your tethered capture with your camera, plug it into Adobe Lightroom, and start shooting today. To start with tethered capture, you'll actually need to buy the cord. We got ours from tetheredtools.com. And basically we got the Tether Pro right angle adapter USB 3.0 to USB 3.0 micro B5 pin. The reason we got the right angle adapter is because it's much easier to plug into the camera and it keeps your cord to the side as opposed to sticking out. So if you have a bunch of other cords plugged in, mics, whatever, it's just way easier to have it like that. And then we also had to have another adapter for the MacBook and it's just USB to USB-C, I believe, or whatever this one's called. And it just plugs into the other side of the Tether Pro cord. So to get started with tethered capture, I'm gonna show you how to plug in the cord on both your camera and your laptop. For the five prong side, or the five pin side, sorry, get your Nikon D850 and look for this middle panel right here. It has the same icon. And then you just slide it in vertically like this with the cord going down. You have to really press it in, so make sure you do that. Also make sure your camera's on, the lens cap's off, and then just set that down here. At this point, I'm gonna bring my laptop down because I don't want it to go all over the place when I'm shooting. And then I use, I'm using my USB adapter to connect it. And then I'll just plug it in right here. And that's all you need to do to get started. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to start Lightroom and connect tethered capture with your camera. Basically, you just open Lightroom and click File, Tethered Capture, and then Start Tethered Capture. Then you choose a few settings like Session Name, template, if you want to change the way your photos are named, and then also a location for all the photos from this shoot. Once you're done with that, click OK, and then it will detect your camera. Sometimes it doesn't detect your camera if this becomes dislodged, so I always kind of leave my camera on the edge while I'm setting it up. Obviously, be careful not to make, let it fall, but you also want to make sure that these, this cord is fully connected. Otherwise, it will stay on that detecting camera page for a while. Once you get here, then you can start shooting. If you want to use live mode, you can. I personally don't use that much because it's a little bit laggy when you're moving the camera around. You can see it'll lag a lot. So I just exit out of that. And then now that you have this bar open, you're able to start capturing with tethered capture. Okay, so now we're ready to start shooting. One point I wanted to mention before we get into it is how important cord management can be, especially if you're in a large studio, multiple people walking around, you don't want anyone to trip over it. You don't want your laptop to go flying. You don't want it to become unplugged and corrupt the footage or the camera. And so, you know, make sure that you have the gaffing tape ready. I put some on the, on the desk, as I already mentioned. And then as you come out to bring out your shoot, make sure you keep that cord nice and organized. Make sure that it's not, you know, tangled before you plug it in. And then you're ready to take your first few shots. And so I'm just going to demo a few photos and then show you how they look on the screen. So now what you'll see is in this catalog in Lightroom, you're going to have all the photos you took from that session and you can quickly just click through and show your client, compare things, get their feedback. And you know, you can obviously leave it plugged in so that if you're on a set, you'll be able to keep shooting while you're doing this discussion. Thanks for watching this tutorial on tethered capture. If you want to see more about this type of a topic or studio sessions, leave a comment below. We're working on a lot of new videos now that we have our studio opened up and we'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching.